Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. So uh, this is officially going to be the last video that I'm going to make, okay? And I really don't have anything new in this video to say, okay? If you've been following, if you've been watching the pre-exam videos, okay? Or like the, the night, the videos that I make the night before, okay? There's, there's practically nothing new in this, except that it's like a formal goodbye. So um, just uh, as always, uh, just just a couple of things uh, to do before the exam, during the exam and after the exam, you know, before the exam, make sure that uh, I mean, which is right now, make sure that you're, you're well packed. OK, make sure that you have a fully functioning calculator. Make sure that I mean, if you have a spare, that's great. OK. And uh, when you start, make sure to sort of reset your calculator, you know, being an math student, we are sort of used to so, changing the modes frequently so make sure that you're in regular mode before you start okay and even before that even before that right now uh, by the time i post this video it'll probably be around 9 30 9 45 okay so just make sure that you have your you've you're done practicing okay do not put yourself in a in a state where you're testing yourself don't be solving yearly past repairs okay that's something i strongly uh discourage that you, you at this point you should not be testing yourself you should just be relaxing and if you've put an effort which i'm sure you have okay you need to you need to count on the effort that you've put and you need to be confident about your preparation i know that's easier said than done at this point you must be feeling as uh, underprepared you must be feeling like you're slipping all the concepts okay that's completely natural okay you're feeling nervous because this is something that you really care about you've really worked hard for so feeling nervous is completely natural so embrace this feeling soon the sooner you can, the better it is, okay? Speak to someone you can trust, okay? Don't speak to someone who might end up demotivating you even further, okay? Speak to a friend that you can count on and, you know, sort of share your experience with each other. That'll make you feel better. But be very careful about that, okay? You don't want to end up speaking with someone who at this point is, you know, overly positive or at this point is extremely negative, okay? You, you don't want to end up start questioning each other or, uh, you know, what's the answer to this? What's the answer to that? You know, that'll just end up, let's, God forbid, if you don't know the answer, you know that you're just going to end up demotivating each other, okay? Best would be to spend time with yourself. But, you know, if, if, if that's really difficult for you, if, if it's really difficult for you to handle it, uh, handle it on your own, then, you know, uh, you can speak to a friend who you can trust. OK, now um, I've been I've been um, getting a lot of queries about expected topics. I've been getting a lot of queries about expected threshold, OK, which is kind of rare. OK, I mean, this is the first time, not the first time, but yeah, uh, it's not something I hear, uh, get asked often that what would be the expected threshold. OK, so these are things. These are all external factors. OK, you should not worry about that. OK, and you should not sort of start the exam with a certain score in mind. Okay, this is one other question that I've been getting that what should I score in paper two so that my overall grade becomes this and this. Okay, that's not something you should be worried about. Okay, these are external factors. What you, even if I do give you a number, okay, what is the guarantee that you will score beyond that? Okay, what what is the guarantee that you'll be able to meet that condition? Okay, there's no guarantee, okay? So just focus on what you can control and that is how you feel and how prepared you are, okay? And everything else will fall into place, inshallah, you know? Okay. Uh, yeah, so and make sure you get enough sleep. Very, very important. Just how studying is important. Make sure that uh, you get enough sleep. You'll actually be doing yourself a favor and no need to feel guilty about sleeping uh, early. You should be doing that. You need a fully functioning brain. You don't want to end up uh, saying to yourself that, oh, I wish this has clicked to me in the exam or I wish uh, I was able to think of that during the exam. Okay. That happens when you don't have a fully functioning brain. If you do have a fully functioning brain, which you will, if you get a good night's sleep, it's fine. And even when you're going to bed, if even if you're unable to sleep, that's fine. Just don't study. Don't solve a past paper. Okay. Don't practice any questions. Just just relax. Even if you, I know it's it'll be difficult for you to sleep the night before the exam. Okay. If that is the case, nothing to worry about. Okay. Still relax. Relax mentally as much as you can. Okay. And when you're doing the exam tomorrow, okay, uh, there's something you need to do. And that is before you turn the paper, do it with a smile on your face and do it with a sense of, uh, fee with, with this sense that you have, whatever it is that's inside the question paper, okay, you, it's all manageable for you, okay, you, you are, you're way above that, okay, what you have done, what you have practiced, what you have done in, in class, in live streams or at home is far more, was far more difficult than what is to come, okay, so put yourself in that state of mind and uh, whatever it is that comes tomorrow will inshallah become a lot easier for you or at least you will be more confident when you're approaching it okay and don't be intimidated by the paper if you do now 
bear in mind that there will be challenging questions okay that's how the paper is designed okay there will be challenging questions so if you do come across a question that you're not able to solve or you're not able to interpret fully it's okay nothing to worry about don't let that one bad question dictate the entire paper just come back to it later if you feel like you're spending more than the required time there is in order to solve the paper it's okay come back to it okay but do not uh, make sure that you first have a look at the entire paper for, okay so that you know exactly what are your strong areas and what are your weak areas so for example if you're stuck in a question that's right in the middle okay you sort of know what questions you have later on in the exam so you, you don't want to be in a state where you're you spend so much time on a question that's right in the middle and later on you realize oh there were so many easier questions towards the end i wish i hadn't spent so much time okay so first have a good look at the paper okay or what you can do is you can first start with the easier questions you know quadratic circular measure abgb these are relatively easier and smaller topics you can start with these or simultaneous okay but then again this 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 is all relative it depends on your strengths and weaknesses okay so yeah you could do those first be more confident and then do the difficult questions okay and yeah, uh, make sure to read the questions, read the instructions carefully. I get a lot of questions that I did not give the answer the way that the question wanted. Will I get marks? Well, why are you putting yourself in that state to begin with? Okay, you, we shouldn't be having this conversation that, oh, I did not do as the examiner asked. Why did you not do that? Why did you not read the question carefully? Okay, so just avoid this as much as you can. If the question is asking the answer in exact form, give it in exact form. If the question is saying, show you're working, show you're working, okay? Make sure to show you're working. Make sure to not skip any working that's required, okay? You don't want to be second guessing that, oh, is this working enough or not? Okay, don't put yourself in that state, okay? And yeah, um, whatever graphs it is that you have to make, do it with a pencil, okay? I do not recommend that you solve the entire paper in pencil and then pen it out first. You won't have time for that, okay? And uh, again, please make sure that you do the paper in pen. Every every time after the exam, I get this question also that I solved the paper, the entire paper in pencil. Will I get marks? Well, again, why why are you why are you doing that? Why are you playing with fire? Okay, so just do it the way you're supposed to. Okay, and yeah, that's about it. That's that's pretty much about it. And uh, towards the end, just reach out to me and let me know how your exam goes. And uh, remember me and all your teachers and everyone, your friends, classmates, whoever has helped you up until this point and later on, of course, you know, make sure to remember them in your prayers and I will do the same inshallah. And that's it. I'll be waiting to hear from you guys tomorrow. So take care, everyone. Allah is.